Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to reduce your Microsoft Word file size. So let's say you have a bunch of pictures in there and your file is too big to email or to use for whatever other purpose you're trying to use it for and you want to reduce it and you're not super concerned with uh, image quality less so you know so if you're not printing it out like a magazine or a book and you don't really need to have super high quality you could you could use this process to reduce your file size so I have this uh, file here 70 megabytes and I want to reduce it so before I show you that so if you go to Word and you go to your file and options menu then go to advanced you could go to this uh, image size and quality setting so the default is 220 ppi and you could change this you know to lower or higher based on what you need like i'll use high fidelity for stuff that i'm printing for books and whatever um, so that's up to you but you could you know the default's 220 ppi but let's say once you have your document already completed and you already have your images in there and the file size is a set size so that's not gonna it's probably not gonna help you to go in here and change it so what you could do is you could let me cancel out of here so i have this the 70 megabyte file right here that's open so what you want to do is you if you double click on a picture here it'll bring up the picture format tab and then you have this adjust group and in here you have an option called compressed pictures mine's kind of shrunken down so you can't see the text because of the um, resolution I'm recording in here so if you click on that it'll give you some options where you could change it so this right now looks like it's at 330 ppi so I could reduce it down to the default or you know 96 150 and so on and then also you could have it applied just to the one picture to reduce it but that's not going to really help you for the you know if you have a lot of pictures reducing one is not going to do too much so you could just uncheck that if you want to have it apply to everything and then also with this thing here where it says delete cropped areas of pictures I'll show you that in a second here well actually no, I'll show you that first so if we go up to uh, let's see so like this picture here, I just put in there, you could see it's, you know, this is the size of it, but it's been cropped. So if I click on crop again, you could see the extra crop areas that are still technically in the picture, even though it's been cropped, but they're still part of the file there in case you need to go back and, you know, change your cropping and that kind of thing. So back down here, let's say that we're going to go back to this picture here and go back to the compress settings. So now... I'm going to uncheck this box and I'm going to have it delete the cropped areas out of the pictures and I'm going to go for this web option here let's say or let's say I didn't even care about the image size so I'm just emailing it so I'm going to go to email here let's see what, how, how much we could reduce it here and click on OK okay so remember we had 70 megabytes before so let's save this So now we have it down to 13 megabytes, so that's quite a uh, reduction in file size. So like I so said, you could just you know pick one of the different options if you want to go a little higher quality than the 96 PPI that I just picked. You could try that and play with the file size. But as you can see, if you have a lot of images and they're higher quality images, you could really shrink down your file size. So once again, once you're in the uh, document, just double click on it to bring up the picture formatting tab here. Go to the adjust section click on compress pictures pick your size and decide if you want to have the the uh, cropped areas removed but just keep in mind if you do do that then if you need to go back and expand your crop it's probably going to be gone and then if you want you probably want to uncheck this so it applies to all your pictures otherwise you're not going to get too much out of it all right pretty simple give it a shot you might want to save your document as a copy just in case something goes wrong you, you'll still have your original to go back to because you don't want to make things too small and then try and bump them back up again because that's most not like likely going to work um, but you never know but I, I would recommend making a copy of it before you start playing with this just so you don't screw up your original all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe mm -hmm.